everybody. So I'm really excited today. Of course, we have the new Star Wars movie coming out with Rise of Skywalker. And the series has been a part of my life, my whole life. And uh, it's been somewhat disappointing about 50% of the time, but I still love it because I grew up with it. And I found out that one of my good friends, one of the co-hosts over at Hallmarkies podcast, Caroline, hadn't seen any of the Star Wars movies. I thought this could be a really fun little series of reviews uh, where we could talk about uh, the her reaction, or at least to this first one, uh, and uh, see what she thought. Uh, because it's just something I've always had in my life. So I thought it would be really fun to get an outsider perspective. So Caroline, thanks so much for coming uh, on my uh, on my channel. Thank you for asking me. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, you had never watched Star Wars up until this week, is um, that right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. <laughs> How I, don't, did you I, got, I, I did, like, I didn't, like, I knew about it, of course. It's just I just never like had the chance to really watch it. So yeah, I'm glad I got the chance. Yeah. Do you are you just sort of not that big into into sci-fi fantasy, or just was there any particular reason you didn't watch it, or just I just, never I just did. didn't watch it. <laughs> you know, my, yeah, I don't. None of my none of my friends really watched it, and my, my brothers didn't either. So I just never. That's never amazing. really around it. So <laughs> that's really interesting <laughs> to me because it was like such a part of my my child, and I think many other people. Yeah, so my sister, uh, growing up, she had uh, she had like I don't know a dozen uh, or so, a bunch of life size cutouts of Star Wars figures, and she put them on the all in the hallway leading up to her room. And so, you had, in order to go to her room, you had to go past Han Solo and Luke and all oh. stuff. So it was just part of my life. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's hard, like it's frustrating because so many of them have been disappointing to me, uh, but I still feel this sort of investment in the franchise, especially the three original. It's, it's a, I admit it's a little hard to be objective, but I try, but it's just hard when it's something you just so grew up with. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so anyway, I thought I would ask you a few questions. Okay. So first of all, what was kind of your overall thoughts about the movie? I, I enjoyed it more than, I, more than I thought I would. Like yeah. it, it was, it was neat. Like I, I really did enjoy it. Well, that's good. Cause I was going to say, you don't, don't, don't be scared. I won't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Uh, so yeah, you, you liked it. You thought it was overall a fun, a fun movie. It was like, I got I enjoyed watching it and it, it didn't seem like it lasted too long and I, I, I liked it. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, so what did you think of Luke Skywalker as the lead character? I liked him. It was, it was enjoyable to watch him and mm -hmm. I liked him a lot. Cause some people think that he's a little whiny at first, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah. Is he kind of squabbling with his uncle and everything like that? But I never felt that way. Cause I feel like, you have to start somewhere with your character and give them room to grow mm -hmm. and learn. And he's mm -hmm. a teenager. Uh, yeah. So I, I never felt like he was whiny personally. I didn't think so. And nah, I, but yeah. Uh, so I, uh, what did you think of Darth Vader as a villain? I, I like Darth Vader as a villain. <laughs> Do you think he was intimidating? Scary? <laughs> It was, it was scary at first. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, he, he, and just even his voice with it being James Earl Jones with that. Mm -hmm. There's something kind of intimidating about that uh, going on. And, uh, you know, he of course starts out with Leia and uh, mm -hmm. Carrie Fisher and, uh, and, uh, he, you know, he's, he he doesn't actually destroy the planet, but he's uh, Tarkin does. But still, that uh, that he's willing to destroy her whole pl whole planet. That's pretty uh, pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you think was, of Leia? I love Leia. I love Carrie Fisher. It was it was sweet to see. Yeah. Uh, so you already had a, a love for for Carrie Fisher. You, you already liked her before seeing mm -hmm. Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Me too. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can't never remember time when I didn't love Carrie Fisher. And, uh, and yeah, she's, uh, she's a little, she's maybe not the greatest actress in this first, I think she improves as mm-hmm. the series goes along, but, uh, I, I don't know. I still just love her. <laughs> I think she's great. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you could just, tell it, you could tell it was, it was, you could tell it was like, she was new to it but it, mm-hmm. she was still the good job yeah I think. I think so too and so uh what did you think of the whole experience of luke meeting obi-wan and sort of alec guinness being this sort of mentor to luke what did you think of that i like that i, I enjoyed it it was sweet Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, so Obi-Wan kind of explains the whole idea of the force and the Jedi order. What did mm-hmm. you think of that? Like the sort of the setting up of the lore? I, I like that. Mm-hmm. It, it, it helped a lot. I think mm-hmm. for me yeah. watching it, do you think, what do you think of the idea of the force? Do you think that's interesting or I like, it was interesting. I thought it was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so then they meet Han Solo with Harrison mm-hmm. Ford mm-hmm. and uh he's uh, kind of this outlaw the scoundrel he mm-hmm. ends up shooting uh there's a big debate about did he shoot first or did Greedo shoot first or whatever it might be mm-hmm. but anyway he shoots a person when they first meet him and he's kind of a uh he's a lot of people's favorite character is mm-hmm. Han Solo I can, I can see that yeah yeah <laughs> so you liked him yeah I did like him yeah it was, it was neat seeing him harrison like younger role it was like oh wow <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah then it's one of his first mm-hmm. and then he just uh then he would do a- indiana jones mm-hmm. and uh and then uh do blade runner and and just he had a pretty good run there mm-hmm. in the in the early 80s uh and mm-hmm. well this was 78 but uh what did you think because obviously this made in 78 at the time it was a, a a breakthrough movie as far as the uh the special effects and everything mm-hmm. like that and now of course we've we've moved uh, beyond that uh but did you feel like they held up or was it distracting to watch that no i, I like I could, it was you could definitely tell it was you know like in the 80s, 70s and 80s but i thought it was neat for that time period it was it was neat mm-hmm. to watch yeah well, and I like how everything feels sort of real and mm-hmm. palpable as opposed to now where everything looks fake. Yeah, I could, yeah, I like, yeah. Like, I like the realness. Yeah. Yeah, it's glossier, but now, but it's so it's not quite as satisfying, I don't think, mm-hmm. as the past. Uh, but um, what did you think of the whole sort of the way the movie sort of builds momentum to the final uh final raid on the the um uh the death star and uh when they're able to that i love that whole attack on the death star i think it's so Mm -hmm. exciting it it was intense like it was intense like watching it but i thought it was neat Mm -hmm. i saw it once in the theater and everybody just cheered Mm -hmm. (laughs) and i think that's what makes it fun to me yeah I got yeah I I was like oh my gosh I was like on the edge of my seat I could I would have it would have been neat to see it in the theater too like that yeah yeah if they do a re-release you should check it out it's pretty mm-hmm. fun it's mm-hmm. a fun movie to watch with a crowd yeah for sure mm-hmm. and uh, yeah there's I mean there's some attempts to be sort of funny in the movie uh mm-hmm. with like particularly that whole scene with the uh in the trash compactor mm-hmm. um and then there's also sort of characters that are there for more comic relief like your mm-hmm. droids the c-3po and r2d2 yeah um and uh, uh and chewbacca is kind of has mm-hmm. some, is, is sort of a, f- a funny character in a way uh mm-hmm. what do you think about those kind of scenes i, I love r2d2 he was it was yeah. neat to see i was like oh <laughs> yeah i yeah, like the he, funny scene it helps it helps keep the balance i think mm-hmm yeah i agree and i've always liked r2d2 the best mm-hmm. they have they, they have some new droids that they've introduced in the last couple of, of years but you gotta love you gotta love r2 mm-hmm. the original yeah. <laughs> yeah so cute mm-hmm. <laughs> and i actually got to meet um anthony daniels who plays c3po uh at, at, at disney uh disneyland 
uh, once. Uh, so that's kind of random, but it was very exciting. Aww, <laughs> yeah. That is neat. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, I got to have my picture taken with Carrie Fisher at Fan X uh, in um, like 2000, oh, it was like 2010, something like that. So mm-hmm. that was pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's a considered a space western, and I think it really mm-hmm. does have a lot of those kind of uh, qualities of a western. You know, you got your outlaw, you've got your uh, you've got your hero, you've got your villain. Mm-hmm. You have uh, the sort of the big, uh, you know, the big action sequence that feels very almost like a a western kind of thing to me. And yeah. uh, it's just such a, it's always been my, this first one's always been my favorite because mm-hmm. I think it's the one that uh, even though the second one, Empire Strikes Back is the, probably the best made as far as production and, and uh, the story gets a lot deeper, but this one is just the most fun. It's the one mm-hmm. that makes me just want to uh, sort of cheer. And, and uh, so <laughs> I really love it. <laughs> oh, so uh, yeah, if you I were going to give this again. movie like a one to 10, mm-hmm. what would you, what would you rank it? I, I would rank it probably a seven and a half. Yeah. 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 What do you think are some things that you didn't enjoy as much about? What I, you could definitely tell it was like made, like it, it wasn't as like today's movies, you know, the effects and everything. Yeah. 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 And some of it, like sometimes it got kind of slow, but mm-hmm. I, I, I enjoyed it. Like I, I had to watch a second one, you know, just to see, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited because if you hated it, I'd be like, eh, we don't have to do the whole series. I'm not mm-hmm. going to put you through that. But if you, since you liked it, then I, I think it'd be fun to hear your, uh, re- your response to, to a bunch of them. So uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. That would be really <laughs> fun. So, all right. Well, good. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Well, I think well, it was really fun. Asking. Yes. Thank you for asking <laughs> And you finally got to check it off your list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I won't, I won't sound crazy to other people. Like I have seen it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we all have those, those movies that probably, yeah, it's even I, and I see a lot of movies. There's still have ones that I haven't seen. So mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, you can find us mm-hmm. at, at the Hallmarkies podcast. So make sure to check that out. I'll have a link in the description and uh, where can people, uh, find you as far as social media and all that fun stuff on twitter it's at me the caroline r great and uh, you, of course you can find me at rachel's reviews all of our social media itunes youtube and everywhere else and and then check out hallmarkies podcast and uh, thanks so much this was really fun i really enjoyed it and uh, yeah we'll look forward to number two empire strikes back <laughs> yes bye yeah.